What's up everybody? It's your boy, Two Phones, back again with another informative video. And this video is about the Galaxy event that just happened, that just went down in San Francisco today, February the 20th. Uh, it's a lot of different devices that Samsung's putting out for 2019, um, starting March 8th. You'll be able to get uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 series. And I think the Samsung Galaxy Fold comes out April 26th, which is actually a day after my cousin's friend's birthday, which is, I don't know. You guys should get that for your birthday. <laughs> Anyways, so what are my thoughts, guys? What are my thoughts about these phones? Actually, it's, how many phones? Five phones coming out? Yeah, um, not too long ago, right before I just started filming this video, they're supposed to come out with a just a Samsung Galaxy S on 5G phone or Samsung Galaxy 5G phone. So I guess that's in an addition with the S10 series. I don't know. You guys leave your thoughts in the comment section. So what do I want to talk about here? Um, my first impressions on the Galaxy Fold. You know what? I was kind of glad it wasn't. That prototype that they had the first time they talked about foldable phones because, yeah, that was hideous, Samsung. That was hideous. Anyways, so the Galaxy Fold is supposed to come with 12 gigs of RAM? What are you going to do with all that? What are you going to do with all that? 12 gigs of RAM. Uh, 512 gigs onboard storage. And then I think you still expand it to another 512 or SD. So, give or take 12 gigs. And one terabyte, uh, I guess, with the price, 19 to 80 plus tax, you might as well say over $2,000 for this Fold phone. So this phone is a luxury phone. Um, it, it's, it's, it's supposed to be good with multitasking. So if you're into, you know, watching, you know, YouTube, you're into WhatsApp, and you're into, you know, browsing the web at the same time, you can officially do it on a smartphone that folds out into a tablet. Um... I do actually like how the device is. Um, it's just super thin. It looks super, like, not thin, but it's not, it's, it's thick, okay? It looks thick, but it looks thinner in the hand. Um, if you ever, if you see the, the video, uh, I'll leave a link in the description box. But the guy was holding it, it just looks, it looks, it's actually slimmer than the S9. So you own the S9, S8, it's much slimmer, but it's like a 4.6 in screen and a, a lot of people can deal with that because you know a lot of people complain about these phones oh the phone's too big the phone's too big i can't reach all the buttons and apps and stuff like that so here you guys have it this is another phone that you should be happy for and then if you want the bigger screen you fold it out when you got a 7.3 inch tablet slight tablet big phone so yeah uh, give or take it just depends on how you use the device um other than that, they pretty much just show you, like, um, on your lock screen, on the lock on the front of it, you can, you know, instantly open the app. You go to Google Maps, but then when you unfold it, the whole map, you know, spreads out and you still stay on the same page or it, it stays where you left off at, which is, you got to see that in real world. So I, I really can't give my real thoughts about that. I, I mean, it's, it's a cool concept. It's a cool concept, but we just have to wait and see. What everybody else thinks, um, not even that, but when it's officially launched in America and you can go in the store and actually play with this device, um, I'll definitely come back to you all on the Galaxy Fold. Um, that's all I wanted to say about the Galaxy Fold. I think that's a cool concept device. Um, so now let's, let's get into the big boys. Let's get into the Galaxy S10e, um, S10, the S10 Plus. Oh, what, what I'm really impressed about the S10e is for the simple fact that, um, actually, I, I could, I guess I could grow on that people, man. I call it the people because y'all know how I feel about the people. So, I call it the people. I don't call it that, look, open hole or whatever, they, whatever you guys want to call it. But the S10e probably would be the phone I'll get because it's the, the cheaper device. And, I mean, come on, y'all. Six. Six to eight gigs of RAM on a on a phone is more than enough to get you through your daily tasks, web browsing for calls, texting, um, even being on Google Duel or Facebook Messenger, Instagram, what have you. I mean, 
come on, basic users, this is what they on anyway. So the phone is going to run perfectly fine. It still probably would have ran perfectly fine on four gigs of RAM. That's just my thought, okay? I got the S9. It runs perfectly fine on four gigs of RAM. I don't know what the big fuss is, but this one comes with dual rear cameras, so keep that in mind, no triple cams and all that stuff like that. And one single in the front, one single uh, camera in the front for your selfies. Also, Samsung did a partnership with Instagram, Snapchat, uh, supposed to make your selfie photos much better. Not sure why it took this long to do a partnership or to make a promise uh, to consumers that your pictures are going to look good and well on social media now. I don't know. But um, so <laughs> technically the S10 series is supposed to be the Instagram of phones, basically. Instagram of phones. And if you know me by now, you know I'm... I'm deep in Instagram right now, so if you have me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my link in the description box. But yeah, so the phone come with six to eight gigs of RAM, 128 to 256 onboard storage, and you still got expandable memory, which is always a plus. Shout out to the SD card squad. Anybody using the SD card, you know what we'll be talking about. And the phone still come with a headphone jack, so hopefully they unlock the FM chip for free music. You got a free music radio. And all that stuff like that. So shout out to the headphone jack, gang, gang. Um, now for uh, what else do we want to talk about? Okay, so the so the S10e has the fingerprint on the power button. So the the fingerprint on the power power button, um, yeah, they don't have it in in display like the S10 and the S10 Plus. So that's the real difference with the fingerprint sensor. It's going to be embedded in the power button. So. Uh, if you were looking for the end display for the, the lower end S10, then you're going to have to spend an extra $150 uh, to get the regular S10 with the end fingerprint display. So keep that in mind. I mean, if, if that's what really bothers you. I think all the phones are going to have, you know, reversible wireless charging, stuff like that. If you're into that, you want to be on top of the food chain, like I already said, um, previous videos. <laughs> so, but... I mean, they, they got good color variety. Um, what else? What else can I say about this uh, S10? I mean, it, it, it's cool. I mean, of course, you're going to get your Samsung uh, special offers. You know, you're going to get the Adobe Premiere Rush. You're going to get the Adobe Premiere Rush. And then, you know, the like I said, the quote-unquote Instagram phone. So, uh, it, it just depends on how you look at this, guys. Uh, pricing, $750 for the S10e. I still think that's a little overpriced. Compared to you, you're going to have look now. I understand it's a premium, it's Samsung, I get it, but pay attention. You're going to have phones other than the S10e, they're going to have six gigs, eight gigs around with the same amount of storage, all that goody stuff. So, and they're going to be half the price, you know what I mean? And, and of course, they, they're going to throw out the Bugo at T Mobile, they're going to throw out the Bugo at Spread and Verizon, do all these carrier partnerships. So Okay, if I wanted to get the S10 for a lower price, I trade in the S9 to get the S10. And that's probably what's gonna have to happen. <laughs> or you guys can donate to my YouTube channel. Just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Um, but yeah, um let's see what else I want. I think that's all I wanted to talk about on that on I think I mean they all will come with the Snapdragon 855. Um what else? Wi-Fi 6, this will be, quote-unquote, the first smartphone with Wi-Fi 6, intelligent Wi-Fi, meaning it will, I don't know how it ain't going to do it, but it's, it's supposed to let you know you're on a bad Wi-Fi signal, get off of it, use your LTE data, or it's going to connect you to a smarter, uh, a more protected Wi-Fi, more trusted Wi-Fi while you're driving or, you know, taking a jog in a park or, uh, you know, walking to work, you know, on the street, city, in the, in the city and stuff like that. Maybe going out shopping. Um, this Wi-Fi um, technology is supposed to detect whether or not it's good or bad Wi-Fi. So, uh, huh. Would that mean no more VPN? Would you need a VPN still? That's the question. Good question. Uh, <laughs> but, I don't know, guys. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Um, I mean, I really didn't get into the specific details 
on the S10 to S10 Plus for the simple fact. I mean, the only real key difference is better display, um, maybe bigger screens. Oh, okay, so you know I'm, I'm about that battery life, right? You know I'm about that battery life. So the S10 E's come with 3,100 milliamps? Meh. Okay, so... <laughs> Okay, so okay, uh, only if only if it's sufficient with the battery life. Only if it's sufficient with the battery life. Let's see what happens with the thirty-one hundred milliamp battery in the S ten E. But the S ten, I think, co comes with the forty forty-four hundred. What's the S ten plus? One of them plus come with the forty-four hundred. And I think that's a big up. That's a big up. Thank you, Samsung, for giving your flagship phones bigger battery for. It took you 10 years. I, I, don't, I don't know why, but it did. It took you 10 years to finally do that. Maybe maybe a half a decade. If, if You finally caught up on a half a decade. So let's give them a little credit. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, what I don't like about the phone is the peepholes. Once again, man, the peephole cameras. It's still in the way of the screen, in my opinion. It's still in the way of the screen. Hopefully, they have a way of hiding the cameras. And I know you guys into the AT by 9 ratio. Man, ratios, ratios don't matter, okay? When you got a notch and you got peepholes all over your screen, it's still messing up with your screen. That's all I'm saying. I, I rather, I rather go with the Galaxy Fold. Hey, hey, at least the, the the cameras aren't as bothering me versus the peephole. They're in the display. They said the the screen, the cameras are in the display. You should want to be worried about that. You should want to be worried about that. So I'm thinking about. It. All right. Um. And, and and the price, like I said, but once again, you gotta trade in. I, I'm gonna just have to sell off all my phones. So you want all my phones? And I'm selling them hundred dollars each. I sell six phones for hundred dollars. I can get the S10 for free. <laughs> I know y'all was waiting on me to say that, man. <laughs> for free. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um. Hopefully, hopefully the the sound quality, the audio is better in the S10 series. Hopefully, uh, you know, like I said, the, the Snapdragon 855 is more sufficient on battery life and perform well. Performance, you're not going. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't see any reason why people complaining about these phones when they're getting six gigs to twelve gigs of RAM. Come on, stop playing with me, ah, man. Anyways. I feel sorry for you iPhone users. <laughs> you iPhone users going down, man. It's over with. RP the Apple today, man. RP the Apple today. <laughs> but I don't know, man. If if it was my choice, I would pick the Galaxy phone. But see, it costs like 1980. And that's like four or five paychecks. Like, man, nah, I got more things to deal with than worry about a two thousand dollar phone. And then how durable is it? We don't even know how durable is it. You drop it one time, it's over with. It's over with. Then you want to get insurance and all this stuff like that. Look, all right, let's just weigh it out, man. Let's, in my opinion, let's just weigh it out. We excited. I'm excited. You know, I am. I'm actually excited about these phones, but let's just weigh it out. Let's just, um, let's all get our hands on with these devices and then come back and then give our thoughts. I mean, it's really hard to get your thoughts based on watching it on a video or seeing other people talk about it because they there. They got it in their hands. They're using it. So I'm going to say this. The next time I talk about it, I will discuss this in the podcast and my next live stream. But after that, I'm going to stop talking about it for a simple fact. Um, I want I want to actually try these out myself personally, on a personal note. I want to try these out myself See what I think, whether it's in the stores or somebody picked them up. But, um, yeah. Um, by the way, your boy got a birthday coming up next month. So, that might be a good birthday gift to get your boy. I don't know. I understand. I'm throwing it out there. But, anyways, um, yeah. I'm, I'm actually excited for these devices. And, um, I can't wait to get my hands on. So, there you have it. Um, my takes on the Galaxy event. My takes on Samsung Galaxy S10, um, Galaxy Fold. Uh, let's just see how they work in the real world. All right, let me leave your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the new Samsung device? It's your boy, Two Phones.